Today we're talking about the pros and cons of joining a real estate team for new agents. Stay tuned. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all having an incredible day. If you don't know, my name is Aram, I'm a real estate agent here in the Chicago land area and if you enjoy my content, if you enjoyed this video, do me a great favor and just hit the like button for me. Comment your thoughts, feedback, concerns, questions, insults, and compliments in the comments below. I need it for the algorithm. We got goals to hit this year. And of course, if you're new, please subscribe. I have amazing content like this coming to you on a, on a weekly basis. <laughs> that being said, I don't want to waste any time because I'm really excited about this topic, pros and cons of joining a real estate team. And please stay till the end of this video because I have a huge announcement to make for brand new real estate agents in the Chicago land area. So please stick around. Uh, I, this video has multiple benefits to it for everybody involved, including myself. So let's get into it. Pros and cons of joining a team. I kind of want to go, everything I tell you is going to be a con and then I'm going to tell you the kind of the pro behind it. So one of the cons is you're going to have a lower income. You have less leverage to negotiate your splits because you are relying on joining at somebody else's team where they actually have already built out the system for you and you're just plugging in, right? So you're not bringing as much to the table. So therefore you will not be able to get like a uh, 75, 35, I'm sorry, 75, 25 or an 80, 20 or a 90, 10 split. Oftentimes when you join a team, you're on that 50, 50 split, you know, sometimes worse or, or like a 60, 40 split. That's a very common split for uh, joining a team. So you're sacrificing a lot of income on the front end for a lot of knowledge on the back end. Now the opposite pro to the uh, lower income con is that you have a little bit more stability in your income. While you are gonna make less money, if you join the right team that gives you the proper training and some who even give you leads, you're gonna sacrifice a lower split, but you're actually going to have production, which means you're gonna actually make money, if not, probably most cases more money than the agent that's doing it solo, right? So that's one of the pros and cons right there. Now that led me to training. One of the best parts about joining a team is that if they actually give you proper training, because if we all know, if you're a new agent that joined a brokerage, I hate to break the news to you, the training at a brokerage is horrible. Don't do it. It's usually like an old agent who, has, who can't get business anymore, doesn't want to do business anymore, training you how to do postcards, cold calling, farming, you know, open houses, which are all great, but the training is just, it's just not there. It's not modern. It's not from a guy who's actually, or a girl, who's actually producing day in and day out. Why, when you join a team, the leader of your team, if you join the right team, everything is the right team, your team leader actually has all the experience and day-to-day -day knowledge in the current market to help you grow. Another pro for joining a team as a brand new real estate agent is something that we all struggle with as solo agents is structure to your, to your day, to your business. When you join a team, there's already a system in place, so you are just kind of plugging in. So there, there is no guessing going on. You already kind of know what you need to do. That is a huge burden off a of brand new real estate agent's shoulders. And with that said, one of the cons is as a you know, member of a team, you have a lot less control about how things are done, right? A, a lot of times as an independent contract, you kind of want to do your own thing. And when you join someone else's team, that's the key part, someone else's team, then you have a little bit less control and less say on how things are done because that's not your team. Another pro that I think is overlooked uh, when you join the team is accountability. Having like a team leader or other team members that are going to hold you accountable day in and day out, honestly, it's priceless. And this is, this is where when people ask me, should I join the team, should I not? If you know how to hold yourself accountable, if you don't need structure and you're going to train yourself day in and day out, then joining a team won't make much sense for you, right? However, if you need that accountability, if you need that structure and you need someone to tell you what to do day in and day out with the training and exactly how to approach your business, that's when joining the team will make more sense for that newer agent. I've mentioned this in a previous you know, you know, team versus solo video as to why I made the decision I made because I knew I could hold myself accountable, I didn't need much structure, and I was willing to invest the time to train myself. Next up, a con for joining a team is no brand building. That's right, for example, if you join, I don't know, ABC Group, you are helping grow the ABC Group, not, you know, John Smith's 
a real estate career, right? Even though you're the one doing the selling, you know, blah, blah, blah. But brand wise, everything is got to be the team. And with that said, if we transition over to a team, oftentimes teams are going to give the agents leads, right? Now you are going to get murdered on the split on these leads, but you are not, you don't have to go out there and hunt for business. The team is going to do a lot of the hunting for you and just bring it on a platter for you. Say, okay, call this person. They may be interested in buying or selling something. Now as an agent, you still have to convert, but that finding that initial lead is going to be responsibility of the team. If you join, the right team. Now be wary, there's a lot of BS teams out there. Basically an agent has one good year, you know, starts a team just to basically mooch off other people's productions. They have 10 people join, but there's really no training. There's no leads being, you know, given out. And if there is a lead given out, they want 65% of your split. So virtually you're making no money and it's murderer's row. You don't want to join that team. No, no, no. You want to join, uh, if you're going to join a team for leads, Join the best team out there, like the highest producing top three, top two, top one uh, uh, team, because all they're going to do is they're going to give you the leads and you got to go out there and produce, right? Whereas if you join a smaller team and it, the guy, the team leader itself doesn't have you know, as much production, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot. Next up, credibility. As a brand new agent, you have no experience, but if you're part of a team, automatically you have the team leader on your side. It's a lot different to have a team leader on your side versus quote, a mentor. Okay, it's not the same. When you have, when you're part of ABC group, and when you go to a listing appointment, and you say, hey, I'm part of ABC group, and we have been da 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 da, we have access to all these resources, that speaks a lot further than, hey, <laughs> I am a new agent, but I have one of my, you know, teachers, uh, one of my mentors that has been in the game for 15 years, right? It just, it doesn't play the same. So, they already have credibility in the marketplace and you're just plugging into that system and structure. So, that's a pro for joining a team. The biggest con, I believe uh, when you join a real estate team, and this is a both con in regards to a bad thing, and also like you are literally being conned, is the illusion that you are going to be given leads, okay? A lot of real estate recruiting, both on the brokerage side and on the team side, is based around basically relieving the pain point of real estate agents, which is how do I get leads, right? And you know, teams want to position themselves, say, hey, we're going to solve that problem. We are going to give you leads because you're brand new and you don't need to uh, worry about that, right? And like I mentioned earlier, most of the time they won't. Or the leads they give you are BS leads from Op City or Zillow. They're not really like, they're not quality leads. You still need experience. You still need expertise. You still need knowledge uh, and some guts to go out there and actually close this business and a whole lot of luck too, right? So that goes on the con side and dare I say that's the biggest con. The final pro to joining a team, in my opinion, is going to be a support system. If you join the right team, there's going to be a group around you that's going to help you grow. Versus joining a brokerage, everybody's a little bit independent. So unless you make great connections with other agents, there's not really a support system there. But when you're joining a team, we all have basically one mission, all right? Get the team goal, uh, sales up. So that, for example, let's say you can make a showing. If you have a team member, they can make the showing or you can reach out to the team leader and then we can make things happen on that front, right? So there's a support system. If you have a question, you don't have to call a mentor, you can call a team member or the team leader, et cetera. And I think having that support system as a new agent will relieve a lot of anxiety and stress from your day-to-day -day life, which will allow you to grow your business. And there you have it. Those are the pros and cons of joining a real estate team as a new agent or an agent with a little bit of experience. And if you noticed, a lot of the pros on the, on the team side are training structure, accountability, credibility, and support system. I put leads in there because some teams provide leads, but that, that should never be your focus. I always tell people, listen here, you should learn how to fish. That, if you join a team, it should be to figure out how, they, like, how do they get business, right? Learn for yourself, and then you go fish, because that's, that's how you're going to have longevity. If you're just joining a brokerage or a team because they're giving you leads, you have the wrong mindset and you're going to be taking advantage of and we do not want that, okay? And if you see on the con side, it's lower income, less control, no brand building and a whole lot of false promises. So make sure you don't fall into those pitfalls, right? And one way you can make sure you don't fall into those pitfalls is if you're going to join like a mega team, then you're essentially going to be getting a lot of leads from them and that's the reason you're joining that team. But if you're going to go with a smaller, more intimate team, you better know what you're signing up for. And with that out the way, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to give you the announcement. I want to thank everybody for making it this far. You probably already assumed where I'm going with this, but 
I have finally decided to start my own team. I'm going to call it the Gazarian Group because it has a nice, you know, tang to it. And I wanted to make this video and make the announcement at the end for number one, so that only the people actually watch it to the end or committed enough to watch it to the end get to it. And that way I can kind of explain how traditional teams are done and how the team I'm building, I want it to be a lot different. Let me get the piece of paper back, hold on. So if you want to join the team, I'm gonna put my email right here and also in the description. Send me an email, put the subject line, joining the team or whatever you want, just something with team in it so I know what you're reaching out for. Uh, you don't need a lot of experience. All you do need is a real estate license because you know I need licensed agents on my side. And then we will start an interview process and here is, here's what, here's what my team is gonna be all about. It's gonna be no more than three people at this time, at least for the next two years, I don't want any more than three people at a time because I want it to be a very small and very intimate situation. And let me tell you a couple of things I provide and what I don't provide. There will be training, like actual training, how I built my business, what you see on YouTube, what I do on my coaching calls, day to day, that's the type of training I provide. There's gonna be structure in the sense of, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to build your schedule and then I'm gonna hold you accountable to that schedule because you're on my team and you're costing me money. <laughs> Second of all, leads. I will be giving you no leads. So the agents who wanna join the team for the purpose of getting leads, I am not for you. I'm gonna be upfront and honest. Don't join this team because there will be no leads provided, at least not for the first year until I figure out a way where I can actually pass my business on to you, right? So for now, there will be absolutely no leads letting you know right now. There will be credibility and there will be a support system. Here is what I'm going to do. I looked at all the cons, right? Less control, no brand building, false promises, and lower income. And I kind of wanted to give you all the pros without all the cons. So let's go over the lower income. I have negotiated a very favorable split for you by using my production, my leverage with this brokerage. So you'll be able to get a Remax, be a Remax broker, part of my team, and still have about the same split that anybody, any other independent agent has. And when you email me, when we sit down, we will discuss the details of that split. I don't want to put my business or my future team members' business out there. Less control. I wanted to solve this problem because the reason I didn't join the team is because I didn't want somebody telling me what to do. And if you're like that, welcome to the Gazarian Group. I'm never going to tell you what to do. I'm going to provide you with the information, the structure, the training you need to get your business. If that's not how you want to build your business, no problem. We figure out another way. However, I will be holding you accountable. If I sense you are lazy, if I sense you're not doing the work, you will be cut. Or honestly, you probably won't get the job or you won't be part of the team. I'm gonna be very picky because culture is very, very important. I want high energy, hardworking, enthusiastic individuals who are excited and are willing to build a future. The other con I mentioned was brand building, okay? The way, the reason you want to join my team is because I'm going to teach you how to build your own brand and get your own business. This is why there will be no leads provided for me. I'm going to teach you how to fish for your own leads. So if you're with me for two years, for those two years, yes, you're part of the Gazarian group, but you've also been building your brand and I've been showing you how to do it for two years. So my goal with this whole thing is, I understand that if you are a talented real estate agent, and you join this group, I'm gonna train you, I'm gonna teach you how to do it, you're gonna be successful in about two to three years, you're no longer going to need me, so there's no reason for me to take money from you, right? So my goal is for you in two to three years from joining my group, to be able to go independent and do your own thing. That's my goal. I don't need you to be with me for 10 years, I understand, I'm very realistic, right? I'm just gonna teach you how to fish, and then you go out into the sea yourself, and then I get somebody else, teach them how to fish, they go out into the sea. What inspired me to do this, uh, I had no plans with this. This is completely spontaneous. I literally made the decision last week. I was looking to hire an assistant and everybody reached out to me had a real estate license. And I'm like, look man, I don't need you to be my assistant, learn everything from me and then I pay you and then you go off and do your thing. That doesn't help me, that doesn't help you. However, you know, if you have a real estate license and you wanna learn from me and you're willing to make a little bit of a sacrifice, then I can get you to the dance. So that's what inspired me to start this team, group, whatever you want to call it. And I'm super, 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 super excited about it because I think if, if I had an opportunity like this where I could build my own brand, get my own lead, somebody would teach me, give me the accountability and the structure, all that stuff and kind of 
help me with those day-to-day -day -day pitfalls that I found myself in as you guys, you know, my biggest mistakes as a real estate agent videos you have seen. I think I could have been a little bit further along. That's what we're doing here. And one of the last cons was false promises. Let me tell you again one more time. No leads. I will give you no leads. There will be no false promises here. Uh, but I will teach you how to get your own business. Okay. And uh, the rest will be on you. If you're interested in joining, I'm excited to have you or at least interview you and see if you are a good fit. I'm in Elmhurst, Illinois. It's a Chicago suburb. You don't have to live anywhere close. To, as long as you're an hour away or so and you're willing to come to the office, Email me your, your information, we'll get in contact, we'll set up interviews. I'm officially launching the team mid-March, so whenever you see this, go ahead and send me an interview. And if you see it after mid-March of 2022, still send me because I will interview you because you know, maybe the one of the three I uh, initially bring on, maybe they don't work out, people are great in interviews, but you know, sometimes actions speak louder than words. So it will be constant interviews, and uh, you know, eventually two years from now, if you're watching this video two years from now, Maybe I have a team member ready to fly on their own, so I need a new one. So always email me, and I'll give everybody the same opportunity. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who watched it. Um, if you watch it to the end, put teamwork makes the dream work, and that's how we roll, baby. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.